Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm still unsure of what I'm doing here. If you want to stick around and find out, please, please do so. So about a year ago, I moved away from my hometown. I did the big scary. And I want to talk about my experience. All right. So I did not go to university. I essentially never left my hometown when I was 18, like most people do in their life. And I felt kind of like I was missing out on something. I felt like, why am I still here? Why am I still in my hometown at 23 years old? It just feels weird. Now, I was born in Puerto Rico, but then I moved to Florida when I was like three. So pretty much I'm a Floridian and Florida no longer felt like home to me. And it felt really weird because all of my family is there, but I just always felt like something was missing. And I honestly think it's essential for your growth and development as a young adult. I think it's essential to leave your hometown. I think it's essential to leave the coddling of your family, the comfort, the comfortability, the convenience, the, the known. I think it's really important to step into the unknown is what I'm trying to say. And I'm very fearful of the unknown. I'm extremely, I hate feeling like I don't know what's going to happen next. I don't like feeling like I don't have control. And therefore, leaving my hometown was one of the hardest things I could have done. But I am so grateful that I did do so. So like I said, it's been about a year. And here are my thoughts. The first, the first three months when I moved out here, I was like in total shock. I... Luckily, I have my best friend that lives here, and so it wasn't like I was completely alone. That totally helps, but still, I would constantly be missing my freaking mom and my dad, and of course, my family, everyone else in my family as well, not just my mom and dad, and I felt really alone. It wasn't until maybe the six-month mark in my new city where I was beginning to feel a bit more comfortable and feeling as though I can navigate things on my own. I I really want to, I suppose my message here is if you're a young person and you're thinking about leaving your hometown or you're about to do so, I really encourage you to do it. And if I can give you a piece of advice as to what to expect, it's one, you're not going to know what to expect. Like I just... There is no amount of preparation for you to, for like what's about to happen. There, You're just going to feel alone. You're going to feel like, oh, wow, I'm an adult now. It's going to feel really funky because when I lived at home or I, I lived alone when I lived in my hometown, but I still had my family about 20 minutes down the road. It was so different because if I had a car problem, my, my parents would fix it. If I had any issues, I could, I had support. You know, I had someone there for me. And leaving actually has put me in a position where I don't have anyone to really help me, no one to really rely on. And because of that, I feel like I've really grown into my independence. And I've grown to figure things out, to really be on top of my self-discipline, my routine, getting my car checked, just like small things like that that really matter in the long run because I never really stressed upon doing anything because I, I just felt so comfortable knowing that my parents could help me with whatever I had a problem with. And now it's like I can call them, but they cannot physically be there for me and support. And therefore, I've had to just be my own mother and father 
and it's been really interesting. I have essentially reparented myself and kind of just further developed my sense of self, I think. I think that I've really just grown so much in the one year that I've lived away from my family. And I think that it's essential. I think everybody should live away from their hometown for at least a year, at least, because in that one short year, you're going to learn so much about yourself. You're going to immerse yourself in a whole different culture, a whole different city, meet new people. I think it's just so interesting and really a, a, a fresh start. I think it's, it's a fun way to kind of challenge yourself because if you're anything like me, I enjoy a challenge. I get bored. <laughs> I'm, it's unfortunate to say that I get bored and therefore I don't like feel like I don't like feeling comfortable for too long because then I get bored and then I need a change of scenery or something, something that challenges my brain because I really enjoy a challenge. So if you're looking for a challenge, and you're a young person, leave your hometown or wherever it may be. To add to leaving your hometown, if you are an artist like me, the reason why I left my hometown was not only to experience something new, to feel uncomfortable, to feel like I have to really fend for myself. It's also because I am a musician, like I have mentioned before, and I wanted to move to a bigger city for more music opportunities. And let me tell you this. It is not as easy as it seems. If you move away to chase your dreams, it is going to be difficult. And I know no one has ever said it's easy. But I think maybe there is a miss. Or just prepare yourself for a challenging time. I just prepare yourself for a challenging time because I thought, okay, I'm going to move to my new city and I'm going to go to open mics and I'm going to really get myself out there, do shows, collaborate with other artists because where I'm at is just so many other musicians and other artists and a really cool scene. But it turned out, oh shit, I have to make money. Like it turns out, no matter how much money you save, you're going to go through it because you're going to be spending a couple months looking for a job that is comparable to what you're used to making. Or at least in my case, I spent a whole, like practically the entire year searching for a job that was comparable to my job in my hometown because I was able to afford living alone when I was in my hometown. But then I moved here and I felt like I was struggling with bills. I was just like, wow, I was not anticipating to struggle. I was not anticipating to go through my savings. I was not anticipating a lot of things. And so I didn't really get to focus on music at all this year because I was too busy focusing on my basics. Like, let's make money. Let's have a routine. Let's get a good job. Let's figure out car problems because I got into a car accident. I got some car issues this year and just a lot of things were thrown into me or thrown at me once I chose to move to my new city because when I, before I had left my hometown, I thought to myself, I want to try something that is going to make me feel very uncomfortable and throw myself and take a risk. And that is exactly <laughs> what happened. I experienced a lot of challenges. I have been jumping through hoops to be where I am right now. And I'm finally in a position where I can say, I can afford to live here now. <laughs> I can afford to live here now. But it took literally a year. Literally a year. Would I trade that for being comfortable in my hometown? No. I would not trade it for the world because I learned so much substance, so many lessons, so many important things. And now I can have a car problem and not be afraid to go out, find a mechanic, 
find someone trustworthy and get that shit done. Because before it was just so... Can you tell I have a bit of car anxiety? <laughs> but um, that's honestly all I have to say for this week. I, I want to encourage you to leave your hometown. And I also want you to know that it's going to be difficult and challenging, but so rewarding in the end. Thank you so much for watching. Until my next topic or whatever I decide to do. Ciao.